Welcome to I Cook, You Cook, and today I'm going to show you how to make Jamaican rice and peas. Let's get started. All right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make Jamaican rice and peas. I'm going to show you um, pretty much the ins and outs and the basics that go into Jamaican rice and peas, and it's not hard and it's quick and easy. Uh, first thing you're going to need naturally is some white rice. Uh, white rice that I'm using today is jasmine rice. You can use a basmati rice or um, just a regular long grain rice but you know I'm using jasmine because I like the sweetness and the airiness of the jasmine rice um, but you can use any rice that you want I don't recommend using a brown rice but I'm um, going with a white rice instead of a brown rice um, so along with that I'm gonna go ahead and start getting my ingredients combined today I'm making three cups of rice so I'm gonna go ahead and pour my three cups of rice in and I'm gonna get my other stuff off top pour in my three cups of rice now some of the things that I'm cooking along with my three cups of rice is one habanero pepper. I'm going to pop that in. I'm not going to cut the pepper because I'm really trying to get the flavor out of the pepper and not so much the heat. So don't stick the pepper. If you want the heat, stick the pepper, cut the pepper, throw it in. But my pepper is not going to be punching. I'm using along with that two sprigs of thyme. And I'm going to pull this apart just a little bit. Got that completely pulled off. I'm going to throw that in. Well, I have the stick here, so I don't need to add the stick. I'm going to do this to the same thing. Now, one thing about Jamaican rice and peas is, you know, people always say to me, rice and peas, what kind of peas is it? It's not actually peas. It's more dark red kidney beans. And it's not peas, it's just beans. But um, you can do two different things. You can either get the kidney beans that are in the bag that are dry and you can soak them or you can just get like I did got kidney beans in the can and I'm just using the whole can now you can see that I have kidney beans here and I also have the water that came with the kidney beans and I just poured the whole thing in reason why is I don't want anything to go to waste I'm using everything in my um, rice and peas today now because it's three cups of rice you're going to want to add six cups of water to that. Naturally, it's one cup of rice to two cups of water. Now, I took the time to measure it out. You actually get a cup of liquid in your can of kidney beans. So, that's one cup of liquid already added. Um, also using coconut milk today. I'm adding a cup of coconut milk. So, coconut milk in and check. Left is pretty much four cups of water. So I'm going to go ahead and pour my water in with that. Last but not least, I have two teaspoons of salt. And you can salt, add salt to taste. And four teaspoons of brown sugar. Drop that in. And I'm going to go ahead and get this all stirred up on the pot and we're good to go. There we go. Get my pot on high. Let's turn it all the way up. There we go. And we're gonna let that come to a boil and then we're gonna turn it down to the lowest setting. And pretty much that is how I make my Jamaican rice and peas. Um, you saw the secret. I know uh, if I had friends that had the rice and peas said, mm, how did you do that? Well, now you see. Uh, now the main ingredient is was the rice and peas. I'm also cooking something alongside with this. And today I'm making um, some Jamaican style chicken. I want to call it that. You know, I don't really have a name for it. It's jerk seasoned. I use some jerk seasoning and some other ingredients. And you're actually going to see the video uh, once I pop this in the oven of how I season this chicken. But pretty much I'm more focused on how to get our rice and peas put together. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my chicken in the oven. And my oven is already on at 375 and that's going to cook um, for about the next 45 minutes to an hour and I'm cooking chicken thighs today. So while the rice cooks, hang tight and I will be back. I'm a superman of thanks to Lois Lane. It's the way my problems when I went insane. Took me from the depths when I lost my name. Ooh, give me something I could live for. Everyone is wondering what's the change They don't recognize I have so much to say And I never thought someone could love someone so much that they'd give up on everything I you know I will be there when you need me I will be there when you're crying, baby I will be there when you need me 
need someone to tell you that you're beautiful, baby. I will be there when you need someone to run away. I will be there when you need someone to dance with. From your love until the sky is turned gray, girl. Cause you're beautiful, baby. It's your beautiful. Oh, you're beautiful. It's your beautiful, baby. Uh -huh. Yes, you're beautiful. It's your beautiful. It's your beautiful, baby. Feel butterflies when I'm in your hands. You can turn the pavement into white sand. You can make a moment a memory in a glance. And I can't believe anyone else. Everybody's talking. You're always shining. Okay, so you just saw pretty much how I seasoned my chicken. I'd set that in last night and I let it sit overnight. You can let it sit three hours or you can let it sit overnight. Doesn't matter, but I really wanted all those flavors to come together. And now it's in the oven and I can't wait for it to come out. It's like Christmas. Not really, it's not Christmas. Uh, one important point that I forgot to mention was, you know, you can add um, olive oil or um, butter to your rice and peas if you would like. I'm adding a little bit of olive oil. Um, there's already enough oil in the coconut milk so it's not needed. But I just, um, I like the flavor of olive oil so I pretty much put it in everything. Um, I'll be back in a second to cut up some plantains but in the meantime, this is rice and peas on I Cook You Cook. <laughs> I like my plantains nice and black. So I go to the store, I try to get the darkest ones possible. Sometimes I'll pick them up green and actually um, let them ripen in the house um, over time. But you know, if you want to fry your plantains, get them as dark as you possibly can. This is pretty dark as you can see. It's ripened all the way through and um, it's a little bit softer. You know, I like it this soft and I like the skin that dark pretty much because when I fry it, um, the edges will be nice and crispy and um, you know some of the sugar is still in there so it's even a little bit sweet on the edges but I love our fried plants it's nice and soggy and about to get these in the hot oil so we can get our meal together hang tight and throw all of these in and then my chickens about ready to come out the last 10 minutes, I actually took the lid off just so things could brown up. And that beer that we used to season it, along with the brown sugar and our jerk seasoning, these aromas are just rising up out of the oven right now. They just hit me in the face. Bam! Looks good. It smells even better. So my plantains look nice and darkened. They're about ready to come out. So I'm going to go ahead and start pulling these out. But in the meantime, I need to go ahead and start my gravy that I'm using from what was left over. Sauteing onions and some garlic. And these are red onions that I'm sauteing. Turn that down. And a little bit of olive oil. That looks pretty sauteed, so I'm going to go ahead and pour, let's just cool out. I'm going to pour whatever was left over from my chicken all into this pot. And this is going to make a pretty awesome sauce. You know, I remember that this is a combination of chicken broth that's left over and um, beer and a little bit of brown sugar and those seasonings. It's really spicy. I'm holding it kind of awkward. It's really spicy, so I'm going to add a little bit of ketchup to this and a little bit of brown sugar just to break it down. I don't want it as hot as my chicken. And I need to move fast. Don't want my plantains to burn. These can come out. Oh yeah, looking nice and dark. Just the way I like them. And my sauce is still a little bit spicy, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of OJ to this and let it cook down a little bit longer. I'm really trying to take the heat factor out because my chicken is gonna be hot enough already. So we don't want to double down on that. So add a little bit of orange juice just to break the heat. And we're going to let this cook down. Alright, so my sauce is completely reduced. It's nice and thick. Dark red. Everything in here came together real nicely. This room smells like sweet aromas of dark beer, brown sugar, and uh, just 
goodness. I don't even know what to call it. You can make a moment, a memory in a glass. Right, looks pretty good. This thing is steaming. I uh, put my chicken in the oven um, earlier just to keep it warm. Oven is off. Let me go ahead and pull these bad boys out. Here we go. Oh, and it's hot. Get a nice big one. Oh yeah, this one looks good. I'm just going to place that right on top. But this is a huge mound of chicken. I don't even like this one. Pull this one off. Yeah, I like this one. There we go. Place that on top. And one more. And right there. That looks pretty good. Get my sauce added. I'm gonna go ahead and put my plantains on and it's going to be dinner time. Well, this is it for I Cook, You Cook. I had fun today with you guys showing you how to do rice and peas. Um, definitely try it. I think you're going to have some fun with it. I'm about to dig in. My rice is nice and moist. Let me get a bite out of this. Mmm. Mmm. Habanero flavor is differently there. Nice, moist. Love the flavors, love the texture. I'm about to get into this. I'll see you in a little bit. Take care. I'm a superman and thanks to Lois Lane. It's the way my problems when I went to sing. And I never thought someone could love someone so much that they give up on everything. Ooh, I will be there when you need me. I will be there when you're crying, baby. Beautiful, oh, you're beautiful, it's your beautiful, baby.